Hi everyone, what's up? It's Joshua here from Alternative Brewing. And today we're gonna to be brewing coffee using the Lever Presso Espresso Maker. Now this is a very portable style espresso maker weighing under 450 grams. It's really only about the size of a 600 ml bottle, making it ideal as a travel coffee brewer. With a few versions of the Lever Presso having been released, this latest version has upgraded superior quality materials used in its construction, and there is added structural support Support, which makes it by far the best version of the Lever Presso to date. So along with the Lever Presso is a lid to secure the top in transit and a dosing and tamping tool that sits into the cup that you brew into. With a 120 mil capacity water tank, a stainless steel removable dispersion screen and a 51 millimeter filter basket capable of holding around 19 to 20 grams of ground coffee, double shots of espresso brewed at around nine bars of pressure or so are totally achievable. And considering the overall size of the Lever Presso, you can be throwing this in your backpack and brewing awesome espresso literally anywhere. So if you are looking for a brewer on your next adventure or keen to start brewing manual espresso at home, you can shop the latest Lever Espresso in this link up above and keep watching to see how you brew delicious double espressos using the Lever Presso. Now one other neat addition that is sold separately is the Lever Presso stand right here. If the Lever Presso was going to be your choice of a home brewer, I think having the stand would be an absolute must. It's what we're going to be using today and instead of brewing straight into the cup, you remove the cup and then you place the whole Lever Presso firmly into the grooves of the stand. And that way you do have a whole lot more stability when brewing, as well as being able to see the espresso brewing straight out of the bottom of that naked portafilter basket. Now today we're going to be brewing double espressos with a recipe of 19 grams of ground coffee in and aiming for 45 grams of espresso coffee out. Grind your beans to an espresso grind or just a little bit coarser than that. And having your beans ground for espresso brewing is gonna go a long way in creating that pressure whilst brewing. And if you notice that your water is coming out too fast, then you will need to adjust your grind a little bit finer in order to slow that flow down. Next, remove the filter basket from the assembly and then add your coffee and tamp that down using the tool provided to get that job done. Then sit this to the side whilst we preheat the main body with the cup attached. So preheating does become necessary with espresso brewing as it does rely on hot, hot water to aid the brewing process. Without the unit being preheated, you'll find that your espressos will brew a little bit cooler and perhaps in flavor be a little bit tart and acidic than if you were to preheat even just once. And still I found on that second or third shot I pull with the Lever Presso, they brew even better than the first. So adding your water in is very easy through the large opening at the top of the brewer. And so long as you are using boiling water on your preheat, you should only need to do this once. Add the cup to the base to save a mess of the water coming out, and then leave the water in there for a moment before lifting the levers up to press that water down through the shower screen and then heating everything up in its path. So with the preheating out of the way, add your filter basket and coffee back into that portafilter filter assembly, and then screw that back onto the main body of the unit, ensuring that it's nice and tight. Place that onto the stand with a cup underneath, and then fill the lever presso with boiling water once again. Now I found by filling it up just above the arm brackets got me 60 grams of water, which brewed espressos to my recipe. But it is also very easy, while the cup is still on, to place the whole Lever Presso on a set of scales to measure your water in that way too. With the water ready, slowly lift the levers until all your brew water is now underneath the plunger and inside the water chamber. Now, any pressure on the levers down here will start your pre-infusion stage. And it's really up to you how long you want this stage to last. I've found if I have ground my coffee too fine, then a long pre-infusion can help that brew flow. Or the opposite is true as well. If your grounds are too coarse, then I would begin full pressure straight away without it flowing exceedingly fast, but a nice steady flow to the espresso is always going to produce the tastiest results. 
As manual lever espresso machines go, pressing down on the levers of the lever presso is very easy to do. And you won't know exactly that you're getting nine bars of pressure, but from experience, if there is reasonable effort required, then it is up there around the seven to nine bars of pressure. And that's usually high enough to create some delicious crema. Now I did find it is a delayed flow from the pressure you exert. And you think you have to press more, but I'd recommend pressing slower and then continue to lower those levers as this got the better results. Until you get all the way down to the bottom and then you wanna hold it here for at least 10 to 15 seconds so that pressure can then slowly be released out the bottom. Now, occasionally there will be some water left over in the top of the water chamber in which case you just need to lift those levers slightly up again and then press that last little bit of water through down to your cup. And then you have a tasty brewed double espresso. Add water for a long black, drink it straight, or add some milk for a tasty latte or cappuccino. Now reloading for another coffee is quick and it's just a repeat from the above and involves unscrewing the filter basket, knocking that out and giving this a clean and a wipe down to reset again. And cleaning the lever presso, you can disassemble the porter filter, remove that filter basket and give that a clean. You can also pop out the shower screen from the main body, give this and the top section a good rinse off and then dry everything including those internal seals before placing it away for next time. And that's the Lever Presso Espresso Maker for you. Compact and ready to travel with, this espresso maker has the full capabilities of making double shots of espresso that are comparable to an espresso machine. Lightweight and easy to use, it is up there with some of the best affordable travel brewers around. So if you have any questions on the Lever Presso, then throw them in the comment section down below and we'll get straight back to you. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon on your screen and then that way you stay notified when we bring out new videos just like this every week. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching, salud.